Hi everybody! I am back. My name is Becca and I'm Sambri Stitches here on Floss Tube and Instagram and I'm back with another haul video. Um, I am really happy that you guys enjoy the haul videos. I usually don't go this crazy um, with buying stuff um, but it's become a real addiction and I admit that I have a problem. <laughs> But I'm glad that you guys find it all very entertaining um, and enabling. And thank you for those of you that are tagging me in your Ray Dunn um, hauls on Instagram because now I have more St. Patrick's items that I desperately need and I might be turning to Mercari for those. So <laughs> you guys are enabling me. Um, so this is going to be a haul from, I think last week, Sam and I, my daughter, we went shopping and I didn't record because there wasn't a huge amount. Um, but we went shopping today, um, and today is the 1st of March. We hit three Home Goods, two Marshalls, one TJ Maxx, two Targets, which we had no luck in Targets in the dollar spot. There was nothing. Um, and then I went to, we went to Hobby Lobby. Um, and I did really good. I didn't go crazy, and I did get a couple of non-redone stuff too that I will uh, specify as well. But I'm going to share it all with you. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen in my stories uh, that I got very lucky with a Facebook Marketplace find. Um, I was at work yesterday and hopped on my phone and right at the top of my market list or Marketplace uh, list or whatever that showed up was a hutch. And it was a hutch that I really, really wanted. Um, and it turned out that it was only about a half hour from us. So it wasn't terrible. Um, so took two vehicles, my husband's truck and my car, um, took my husband's bustle and it took 30 minutes one way. Um, and we smashed a few of my fingers and his... I think it smashed his finger too because the door on it flew open when we were trying to get it up our stairs um so, so there was a lot of pain um but i really appreciate him um he was like let's go tonight because we were gonna go um today on monday after he got off work but he was like let's go tonight when you get off work you know to make sure that you you get it so um so we drove out there it barely like the top half it's huge and it barely fit in the back of his car because he's got like a baby truck bed um it barely fit like crazy I thought I wasn't going to be able to bring it home and I would have been so sad and then the bottom part went in the back of my car so um super excited because now I'm redoing my whole St. Patrick's display because I had already had it done and now I'm moving it to the hutch and trying to redo my living room to make everything work so it will be you probably you saw a picture because i probably popped it in here when i was talking about it um but when i do my uh saint patrick's decor tour um will be a little bit more up close it does need a lot of work it looks nice it's pure white um but we did damage the corners a bit um so i think my daughter and i my oldest um will probably end up painting it and um maybe aging it or making it look more farmhousey. Um, but for now, I'm just leaving it because <laughs> I don't have time for that. I need to stitch and apparently shop. Um, <laughs> so let's jump into uh, my haul. So I'm gonna do last week's haul um, first, just because I have it on the side. So the first thing I got, this was from Marshalls. I love it. And the reason why I bought this, and I'll show you because I have another one too, is me, my daughter Samantha, and my daughter Brianna, because I have two kids. And it says Easter love, and it's pink, and I just love it. So there's that. And then, of course, this one, Happy Spring, me and my girls. I wish they had four because my husband is, you know, part of the family, but <laughs> they don't. So we'll just go with that. And then I got lucky. There was a girl one of these too, but I didn't like what it said and I can't remember what it said. Um, but this one says Happy Easter and it's got the bunny head and it's a candle. Um, I think, I don't, I think this was Home Goods. It doesn't have a Home Goods label, but 
but it smells really good. It's golden daffodil. But is it cute? So <laughs> I buy these candles and I buy a bunch of different candles, you know, that are just like this without the toppers. And I don't burn the candles because I don't know why. I just, I don't want to burn the candles. <laughs> I should probably start doing that because I keep buying them. So why not burn the candles? Um, the next thing I got was, I think also from Home Goods. They don't put Home Goods on the tag, but um, I got this Easter basket, which is super cute. And now going to all the other stores, I'm seeing tons of other Ray Dunn uh, baskets. And I had bought this because it was going to go on the bottom of what I normally use for my display. But now that I have a hutch, I could have bought the other ones. But since I already own this, which I love, I'm just going to stick to it. I don't need 50 baskets. Um, I was really, really good today. Still part of last week's haul is this. This is speckled. I don't know if you can see it. But Sam made me buy it. It says Happy Easter, but it's speckled. And it's so cute. And this is Marshall's. This was from Marshall's. So I love it. So the speckled. And then my last thing that I got, I think again from Home Goods, is one that says Egg Hunt. I love it so much. So cool. So that was last week's. Um, this week. Where is this from? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I think this is, um, I don't even know what store, Marshall's. This is not Ray Dunn, but I had to have it. It's a candle. You could put like a little votive candle in there or a little tea light. Um, and it says Slancha on it, on the mug. My dad would like that. My dad's birthday is St. Patrick's Day. But I figured this would go really cute with the pot of gold Ray done that I got. And I <laughs> um, I can't remember who tagged me. I'm so sorry. Um, but you, when you tag me on Instagram, you have a pot of gold mug with a topper. And I need that to go with my pot of gold stuff. So I'm on the hunt for that. And the rainbow um, ones too. So, um, But that'll probably be next year because the stores for the St. Patrick stuff is pretty much all gone. Um, I managed to grab this. I don't even remember where this is from because it doesn't have the store on there. Um, I think this is Marshall's or Home Goods. It might be Home Goods. And it's a be happy because after Easter, I'll probably put out bees until patriotic time. Um, I could, y'all. Ray Dunn masks. I need more masks. These were on clearance for like $5. And I mean, spread love, spread kindness. Those are perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I got those. This was on clearance at Marshall's. Um, so we got this for, uh, you know, for fall decor. Sam actually picked this out and she was like, you have to buy it. It's like a little acorn. It's so cute. I don't normally decorate with these birdhouses type things, um, but because this was a little acorn and it was super cute um, and it was on clearance, and Sam told me to buy it. She's just as bad of an influence. She may be my good luck charm, but she's just as bad of an influence. This is not Ray Dunn, but I didn't want to leave it behind because um, I could put it, I actually, when we went to, um, home goods we got these little holders so I'm just gonna have it sit in those um, so it's a little shamrock plate so I thought that was cute and then my Hobby Lobby haul I just got a couple of B things for my display they had they have little uh, votive candle holders uh, hopefully you could see the B it's really cute they have bigger ones too but I just got a small one and then a little pillow that says be kind I'm going to love my bee display. And then a little sign that says, let it be. And then another sign that says, be happy. So that'll be cute for my bee, you know, my bee display. It's not right done, but it's so cute. Be happy. I'm excited to do that because I have a whole bunch of bee pieces from um, when everybody did. Um, well, I can't even think of it. During like March, April timeframe, when everybody did the, the 
patterns and I can't remember the hashtag. They did all the free patterns. There was a lot of B ones, which was really cool. So, um, yeah. Okay. This guy, this guy is so stinking adorable. Um, there was a girl too in a skirt and a purse, but I didn't really, um, like that. That's the one that Sam wanted me to get, but I had to get this guy. Um, and it's right done. It's right done, y'all. Look at this dude. <laughs> Like, he's got, like, a little gold shamrock, and it says Lucky, and he's got a little rainbow heart that'll go with my little rainbow stand, and someday my little uh, over-the-rainbow mug and canister that I want from Raynon. Is he just not cute? And he's, like, um, a sand or bean beanbag type thing, so he's heavy. So he's gonna look so cute. And he was found, I've not seen any of these, he was found at TJ Maxx. And then my last little bit, so excited about these mugs. I didn't really need more mugs. And I told Sam this, but she's really good at searching the entire store because people are hiding stuff behind things. Um, so the first one she found was Busy Bee, but it has a crown on the top. How cute is that? I love it. I love it so much. So that could be left behind. And again, I don't need more mugs, but I mean, look, <laughs> I love him so much. I love him so much. I haven't seen that one either. Um, and I think these were both home goods. One of the home goods, we went to three different ones, but isn't he adorable? I love him. And Sam made me buy this because it was pretty. It says Easter love and it's like a iridescent shiny egg. And this is also Ray Dunn. Um, and this is Home Goods. I love, I think out of the three stores that carry Ray Dunn, Home Goods is my favorite um, because it's an actual hunt in Home Goods. Marshalls and TJ Maxx have somewhat of a set area, but Home Goods, you find stuff hidden everywhere. Like it's, it's weird. It's a lot of fun and it's crazy. But so there's that. Easter love. My Easter display is going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. And then, of course, y'all, if you watch me, you know Shadow and Emma are my fur babies. And Sam found this back in the pet section. They have dog bowls, cat bowls, um, treat canister, which I have. That's Ray done. But it says dog lover and fur mama. Ah! I love it so much. So she grabbed those. They did have a cat one, but she says that she'll wait on that until she gets her own place. Um, and then the last thing is not Ray Dunn, but it was on clearance. And for my Valentine display, um, I do like XO. Um, so I got this because it was only $3.50. And I love it. It's really cute. And it'll just go with my display uh, next year. So... And I know quite a few of you have asked how I store all of this. Um, I will insert a little video clip. I, so my husband just buys me totes every couple of weeks from Costco. They're the big black totes with a yellow top that cl clamps on so they're sealed and secure. Um, so I have a bunch of those for seasonal and for holiday. Um, and they just stack up in the garage so i'll do a little video i think i have one upstairs right now since i'm kind of transitioning stuff and pop that in at the end here uh just to answer a few questions and so you guys can get an idea of how i store stuff um nothing super fancy um and it's super cheap at costco for those my husband does all the shopping on saturday so i work on the weekends but um yeah so hopefully you guys enjoy this haul i <laughs> I'm really glad that you you enjoy seeing um, the Ray Dunn haul and that there are fellow addicts out there like me <laughs> and that I'm not alone. And keep tagging me in your Instagram Ray Dunn hauls or wherever you show them um, because it just keeps giving me ideas and now I have new things that I need. Sorry, <laughs> husband came home just as I was saying my goodbyes. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Um, and you may not be seeing another Ray Dunn haul video for a little while. The next one is I'm going to go crazy trying to hunt down the patriotic Ray Dunn pieces. Um, 
I will be posting my St. Patrick's display on Instagram and then I'll be doing a video um, that I'll probably put up on St. Patrick's Day so it'll be a little bit more like a tour um, for that so anyways hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll see you all in my next stitchy update and until then happy stitching happy Ray Dunn haul hunting and don't forget to tag me in any of your Ray Dunn posts because I love to be enabled as well so talk to you all later bye bye okay so these are the totes that Costco sells I don't know the sizes oh here there's the tag for the other one Professional grade storage box, 27 gallons. Costco sells them for a great deal. Um, my ghetto handwriting on the side of it. Um, and they lock, but I'll show you at the end. And then this is just how I store it. I don't wrap anything up. Um, this is all my Valentine's decor. My Ray Dunn is in here. My stitched pieces. Everything's in here. And I still have, <laughs> I still have room to buy more, but this is how I store them. And then they stack, which is nice. And the top just locks. You hear it lock and then it's secured on and it's pretty sealed and they don't get damaged. And then we just stack them in the garage. So hopefully that answered some questions on how I store my stitchy pieces and my Ray Dunn. So go hit Costco and buy up all these 27 gallon totes. They're awesome.